Oh, the fat man is all by himself. Don't worry. You'll be joining your little sidekick soon enough. <laughs> Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another video here today on my channel for Rave in the Redwoods. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the different memory charms that are located around the map. I'm going to be showing you guys all the locations as well as how to complete the challenges for each memory charm. Now, this video took a long time to put together, so if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like, that would be greatly appreciated. And later on, I'm going to be posting a video with every single quote that you can get from the memory charms. Each one has its own specific quote, and it's really cool because it's like all storyline information. So hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to be going through all 10, and let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so the first item we're going to be looking for is binoculars. It's going to be located behind the stack of beer in the recreation center right there in the corner. Now, if it's not located there, then you're going to want to make your way towards the mess hall. Right after the mess hall, if you're going to the lake, it will be sitting on this bench right here. As you can see, the mess hall is right there. The binoculars are going to be sitting right here. It's only in either of those areas there's no other uh, places that these can spawn so once you do this guys you need to make your way over to the fate and fortune refill area which is in the gazebo now you're gonna want to place the binoculars right there right on that bench and go towards the gazebo you have to shoot eight different never soft eyeballs there's gonna be two over on that side there's gonna be one that's actually located above a perk machine which is right on the map and then there's gonna be five over at the island one on each totem pole and one on the building itself you have to shoot all different eight balls with a sniper rifle that is the only way that you can see them luckily you can buy a sniper rifle for 1250 right inside that gazebo so it makes it a lot easier but i recommend doing this on a very low round because you actually have to get kills doing the same exact thing so as you can see i shot all eight now you have to get 15 headshots within the gazebo and this is probably the hardest part this is why you want to do it on a low round because it can get pretty difficult i recommend training the zombies away and then going back to that spot and shooting and killing all of them so once you do that you have completed the binoculars the next one is going to be the golden shovel it can be located near bang bang sitting inside of this bankin if it's not going to be there then you're going to want to make your way over to the shooting range next to the recreation area and you'll see the golden shovel leaning up against these tires now you're going to collect that and make your way over to the mess hall right after the mess hall if you're going towards the lake there's a little river bed that is located right over here there's a pile and you can see bones in it you press square at this area and it's going to cause five skeletons to spawn it may be more if there's more players in the game and basically what you have to do is kill all of them once you kill every single skeleton then you're going to be able to play the audio quote from that area it's really not that hard this is one of the easier ones and then once you're done that you have the ability to inspect the item and listen to what it has to say okay guys the next one is going to be the arrow it's going to be right here at this lake boat sign at the bottom on the right hand side of that sign now if it's not there you're going to make your way to to spawn and right outside spawn there's a light on the ground and it can be sitting right next to the light in this case it was right there as you can see so we're gonna grab that arrow and now we have to make our way over through to the shooting range there's actually a shooting range there so you're gonna place the arrow right on the table then the next thing you need to do is go into rave mode now you're gonna shoot eight targets and you have to do it really fast or else it's gonna reset and you're gonna hear a uh, sound like you got an error so there's eight targets you just have to shoot them as fast as possible otherwise you'll have to restart so as you can see here I did it so I could go up to the arrow and play the audio Okay guys, so the next one is going to be the ring. Now this one is located literally on the stairs right next to Bang Bang's. And it's going to be located right there in that on that step. If it's not located there, then you're going to want to make your way to the mess hall. And right next to the blue bolts machine, it's actually going to be on the stairs as well. So as you can see, the ring is located right here. And I'm going to grab that. So it's going to be on that step right there. Then once you grab it, you're going to want to make your way over to the cabins area. And there's going to be a table you set it on right next to the TV right there and then there's these two like 
I don't know, camping lights, and you basically have to rotate both of them so that they're looking at the ring exactly. So there's one there, and the other one is above the fireplace. You're going to have to do both of those, and once you're done, it's going to glimmer, and you'll see it shine right there, and that is literally all you have to do for the ring. This one is also very, very easy. Okay guys, the next one is after you go up the steps that have the tires in it in the adventure area, then you can go right here. It's going to be sitting right in the corner. Now that is one of the locations. The other location is going to be located by the Beer Lake sign. So as you can see here, going towards Whitetail Beach, and you'll see the Bear Lake sign right there, and it's going to be located on the steps right here. Now once you grab this, it's really cool it's a cool looking mask the challenge for this one though is very very easy you're gonna make your way back towards the mess hall and as you can see there's gonna be a little plaque that's green on the wall you just press square right there there's gonna be these keys that jiggle all you have to do is shoot the tag and they're gonna drop and you've literally completed the tiki mask it's like I said super super easy Okay guys, the next one is going to be the 8-Ball. One of the locations is going to be right after the wooden boards that are located up here right next to the mines. And it's literally going to be sitting right there in the corner where the wood boards end. So right there. And if it's not located there, then you're going to want to make your way to the recreation area. Behind this white like tent setup, there's going to be the 8-Ball just sitting right there on the ground. You can grab that and then you're going to want to make your way over to the cabin. Now directly up the stairs in the spawn room there's going to be a pool table there so you have to set the eight ball down and then you have to shoot each of the cue balls or the white balls on the pool table and then you have completed the challenge for this eight ball and you can listen to the quote all right guys the next one is the fish it's going to be located in this tunnel or the sewer system it's going to be located towards the middle of it on the ground now if it's not located there then you're going to want to make your way over to the camp area and this is the camp wolf side of the campground it's going to be located directly under the racing stripes building so as you can see it's up there right next to the power sign it's just going to be sitting right here behind and once you grab the fish then you're going to have to make your way over to the docking area that is literally right next to where you ride the boat. So as you can see here, going to grab the fish, going to make our way over there to the docks, and you're going to bring it all the way to the end of the dock, literally to the right-hand side of where you ride the boat. You place it down right here next to the lifeguard uh, little thing, and then you're going to need to use an explosive grenade, not the gas grenades it has to be explosive grenades and you're going to throw it directly at the blue light that is going around the lake then once you've done that you've completed the fish challenge and you can go back to the fish and listen to the quotes and what it has to say Okay guys, the next one is the frog. It's either going to be located in this trailer right here. This is located right next to the recreation area. Now, if it's not there, then you're going to want to make your way all the way over to the building that is connected to the building where you can share money, like the bank. It's a cash register that's right there. And it's going to be in the room next to it. And it's going to be sitting on the green plastic chair. So you can just grab that frog. Now you're going to make your way over to towards the mess hall and we're going to go in the same river banking where the skeletons were so you're going to go right over here towards the mess hall and you're going to want to place this frog down in the backhand corner and this is going to be like on the banking right here now the frustrating thing about this one is you actually have to be in rave mode in order to do this but you're going to get a new ability when you're in rave mode and you jump and then press the knife button in midair you're actually going to do like a ground pound which is really really cool so basically what you have to do is squish all the frogs that are located in the river bend and you can only see them in rave mode so as you guys are going to see right here there's actually a little ledge you have to jump off a ledge you jump towards the green frogs and ground pounds by using the melee in midair so this one is actually really cool like I didn't even know you could do this and I think you can do this in all like every time you're in rave mode as long as you're jumping off a ledge which is really really cool and something that not a lot of people knew about so definitely try this out guys it's a lot of fun 
and you can kill zombies the same way in like regular rave mode which is awesome so once you do that guys then you can go and inspect the frog in regular mode and you're going to be able to listen to all the quotes I have to say remember to use fairies or listen to the fairies because they're going to extend the time of your rave mode and you're going to have to kill about 10 frogs in this riverbed so it does take a little while but that's all you have to do for the frogs Okay guys, the next one is going to be the pacifier. It's going to be located up here, and this is in the building that where Racing Stripes is located. It's going to be right in the corner next to the sink. So if it's not located there, then you're going to want to make your way over towards the gazebo that is on the lakeside, basically at Whitetail Beach. And you can see the gazebo up there, uh, right up on the top of the screen. And it's going to be located underneath. Uh, as you can see, we have this pink pacifier right here. So then you're going to grab that and you're going to make your way over towards the mess hall. Now this challenge isn't too hard but you do need to kill zombies in order to complete this one so it can be a little difficult depending on which round you're on you want to do it as early as possible so you're going to make your way inside the mess hall place it right here and what it's going to do is block off the doorway so you actually can't leave uh, so all you have to do is get 15 kills within this area and then you are going to be all set so basically zombies are allowed to go through those walls but you are not able to so you need to get 15 kills as you guys are going to see here, there's going to be so zombies spawning in this window, so I recommend kind of sitting back so you can watch that side and watch the front. And if you have another friend, have him watch the other doorways. Uh, so all you have to do is just kill the zombies, and once you kill 15, it's going to be gone, and you're going to be able to leave at your free will. And you can go out to the pacifier and play uh, the different quotes that it has to say. It's actually Willard Wilder's daughter, and honestly, these quotes are amazing. They're really, really cool storyline stuff so you guys would definitely enjoy it okay guys the last and final charm is going to be the boots they're either going to be located next to this pallet with all of the beer packaging or if they're not there then you're going to want to make your way over towards the docks and right next to the same docks that the canoes are at there are going to be boots just sitting there on the ground and before they were actually inside of the trash bin they changed it so now they're outside of it so you can actually see them which is a good thing and basically instead of uh, or once you're here you just grab the boots and you're going to make your way over to the camp wolf area and there's going to be a cabin that you can walk in and you're going to see red footprints on the ground so you're going to place the boots uh, right on the red footprints and then what you need to do is walk on the red footprints now the really cool thing about this is you hear the footsteps like walking but there's three different areas you have to do it and for some reason the zombies die when they hit you I don't know why but a thrasher or a slasher rather actually walks by the window which you guys are going to see for a split second here uh, right when the new round changed as you saw the slasher just walked right by there once you're done that then you need to make your way over to the main cabin spawn area and there's going to be footsteps once again inside of the cabin you need to walk over all of these different footsteps kind of the same way that you did at the cabin area and once again you're going to see a slasher walk by which is really really cool and it's kind of just out of the blue uh, you see the slasher walk by once again the zombie hit me and it died instantly so as you can see the slasher is going to walk by right now it's pretty crazy uh, it's really scary actually <laughs> and then the last and final one is going to be located on the docks you're going to see the same red footprints so there's one right here I recommend just walking like back and forth on them that way you don't accidentally like skip it and you need to do these in a timely manner otherwise uh, it can be very difficult what me and my friend did was we just saved a zombie each round this is going to take you three rounds to complete just because if the zombie hits you you're automatically going to die which can be kind of frustrating and kind of annoying so you just keep walking this one is much farther than all the other ones uh, on the docks so you're gonna just go up through here you're gonna eventually look through the window in this building that is kind of straight ahead to the right hand side and you're gonna see the slasher walk by the window once again this one is a little bit farther to see so you can't really hear it too well uh, but it's actually gonna be looking towards the window uh, which is definitely awesome so it's going to go up to here, and you're going to see the slasher walk by right inside of that building. 
and then you're going to make your way back towards the cabins where the boots originally were and you can inspect the item listen to the quotes and see what this quote has to say so anyways guys that is all of the different charms that are located on rave in the redwoods like i said this video took a long time to put together so if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like that would be greatly appreciated this is going to allow you to complete all of the items that are within the menu that you can collect in a game so i recommend doing all of this getting all the other ones building the boats getting pack punch open getting the bows and also getting all of the pictures with the skull and also you can do the five camp challenges around the map and then you're gonna literally be done the entire sticker pack or the entire pack that is located within raven the redwoods thanks for watching guys my name is greg fps and i'll see you guys next time peace out